Hi, Fancy Fair AK Fairs here, and today we'll be resuming with Roadport. Or at least uh, getting the, the, uh, thing. The, uh, the, uh, third crystal star to the, um, gate. To the door, sorry. I had not played this game in a couple of days, at least with the channel. So, uh, very quickly, I have done a lot recently. I decided to rename Blaze, rename Ember Blaze. To do that, I had to delete my save file and redo everything, uh, which took a good while. So we now have a, now we have a little Blaze now, and these are my stats now. Yeah, not as impressive as before. Gonzales, you got an email. Dearest Mario, I have uncovered something terrible. These things, the x nads they're planning to take control of the world. It's to that end that they're seeking the Crystal Stars, trying to reclaim the legendary treasure. I still don't know what that treasure is, but you must hurry and get to the Crystal Stars. I'll gather whatever, what information I can. Princess Peach. Okay, those kids want to rule the world? That would stink! Pretty much that would stink. Okay, we gotta think about it. What's Luigi doing here? Well, I got my second piece of the Marvelous Compass at Plump Belly Village recently. Oh boy, I really got my hands dirty on that one. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. It was pretty wild, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a long story. Yeah, I want to keep up with uh, Luigi's little story. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here it goes. Once we made landfall on the strudel continent we made for Plum Belly Village. Once we got there, though, we immediately noticed that something was wrong. We learned from the mayor that the town was ruled by a giant snake named Hizza. Ah, oh, Mario, come on. He said, the, he said the beast demanded he offer up his own daughter as a sacrifice, too. So, of course, being heroic, I offered myself up to go in her seat. Brave, huh? Yeah, it is brave. Now, the custom was for, sac for sacrifices to be dressed as brides, so I got all dolled up. I was one... <laughs> I was one hot sacrifice, bro. I looked so good. I fooled her foes and got in his ass lair. It was kind of rough fighting in that gown, but I managed. She fought and really chased, bro. I finally found his, uh, and the snake had it in the second head on its tail. Talk about scary. That does sound scary. Actually, a two-headed snake with one end, with, with one head being on the tail sounds even more scarier than, like, a serpent or something like that. Or, like, Cerberus, the three-headed dog. I faked it real quick, but when I came to, I managed to distract both heads. How do you do that? It reared up. Fangs bare to attack. And at that moment, I deftly lunged left. His gaping mouth smashed into one another, and he vanished in a cloud of smoke. A shining, sp a shining plate fell down the spot where his body had been called. Yes, another, sh another compass piece. I set it, I set it, and it pointed east to Circuit Break Island. Just as I was about to leave town, the mayor asked me to stay and marry his daughter. I thought about it. She was sort of cute, but we ended up sneaking off the next morning. I mean, I still had to save Princess Eclair from the Chestnut King. And when the Marvelous Compass activated this time, I heard somebody's voice. It was so beautiful, bro. I'm certain it was Princess Eclair's voice. My heart began to race. That's when I realized that Princess Eclair, I think I... Oh, I kind of zone out there. Um, so yeah. We set sail again after ditching town. Oh, come on, Luigi, please. I wanted to hear the rest of that sentence. And somehow we managed to get back here to Roadport. And here I am. Wanna hear about something else? No, thank you. But we'll be keeping in touch with you, bro. If you wanna hear what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. Okay, we heard Luigi, which was very exciting. I wish he had continued his little bit about something about the Princess Eclair's voice. That would've been really nice to hear. But let's go explore Roadport. Hold on. I don't think we can make it there, though. Okay. What's up here? Up, up, and up. And let's see if there's something here. No, I'm too scared to do anything there. Is there anything here? Oh! 
Get another star piece. Oh, wait, is this the professor's house? I think this is the professor's house. So, let's quickly... Oh! <gasps> There's something back there. We need to get... We need to grab... Hold on. What's over here? Oh no! We need to get over there! Is there a way to get over there? Okay, let's see what happens if we do this. We're just gonna walk down here. Boom! We got it! You got a shine sprite? Okay. And now, okay, that was how we were meant to do it. Okay, now we go back here and we found it! Okay, I want. To, okay, let's quickly walk up. Okay, we got up here. Good. Okay, we got up here. Boom, we got another shine sprite. That is good. I want to see if there's anything over here. Okay, up. Bam. Okay. Oh, hello! Who are you? Good afternoon to you, sir. I am called Grifty, the traveling min minstrel. I spend my days here in leisure, spinning tales as spin the spin the senses. I know but a few of the stories that surround the town of Roadport. If you like, I can share them with you, but it will require just a few coins. Is there a tale you want to hear? These are the tales I can tell you now. Okay, these are a bunch of different tales. Okay, maybe someday later. Okay, maybe someday I'll. What's over here? Whoa. Oh, I think I've been back here before. Have I? Because I know there's a. Yeah, I would have. <clears throat> there's a. Uh, there was a. A uh, uh, star piece back there. <laughs> hey, my name is Darkly. I'm a dim. I like dim places. Yeah. Huh? You see, the town has got an underground part to it, and I should go there. Yeah, dark and dank like that. Bed. I have to walk out to the sun. So no. Okay. Maybe there's a way we can convince him to go in down to the underground. Also, right after I got the super hammer, I went over here to check this out, and this was just a shine sprite. So I just wanted you to know that. Um, I don't think I can do this yet. No, our hammer is not powerful enough. That was my phone. I was trying to get into the door. And that big yellow block here was destroyed. And I just uh, discovered it was a spring, so we don't have to go all the way back there to... Uncover it, so let's get going with getting the other uh, star pieces. We got three out of seven, so that means we got like four left. Yeah, we got four left. So we're close. We are close. We're not very close to done, but we're decently close. And okay. Okay, now where is this going to lead us? Oh, a forest. A dark, spooky-looking forest. Okay. A dark, spooky-looking forest. Okay. That sounds grand. That sounds amazing. Okay, the location of the Crystal Star has been recorded on your magical map. Hey, that shows where the fourth crystal star is. I guess we'll have to go show this to, to that Frankly guy. But first, we better tell him what Princess Peach's email said, right? Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> the group that kidnapped Princess Peach is bent on the total world conquest? Yeah? Not that hard to figure out. Uh huh, you got that right. That's why these jerks need that legendary treasure. Hmm, this doesn't bode well. The situation has gotten far more serious than I thought. Let me bring you up to speed. I've been researching just what this treasure could be. One book I came across held a, 
held to what I thought was a pre preposterous theory. This book claimed that a treasure wasn't actually the great cal catalyst. Catalyst? I think that's how you pronounce that? The very catalyst that a thousand years ago sank that town underground. So these jerks sink the power of that catalyst will help them rule the world? Yeah, they'll, they'll rule a world of, of full of uh, drowned people. And those that aren't drowned are going to be, be, be uh, very few and far between, like, like the people in Glitzville. Oh no. I can't say for what they will do or why, but we must consider the possibility. Now that things have come to this, we mustn't let them near the legendary treasure. That's all that matters, because if they do get it, then once again, this town... No, the entire world could be destroyed. Then out with it, Professor. We gotta find the next crystal star. Super quick. Hmm, according to the map, it, it appears the next crystal star is in Twilight Town. I know where the pipe is. I was exploring... I was exploring the east side of Roadport, underground, and I found a certain pipe that would not let me through, and it said it went to Twilight Town. Okay, I know where that is. Twilight Town? To tell you the truth, I don't know much about the place myself. Only rumors. I have heard that as the name implies, it was particularly dim and eerie there. Maybe that's where Darkly was. Wait just a moment. I know where that is. Please. A again with your telekinesis, dude! Haha, <laughs> there appears to be a pipe in Twilight Town somewhere inside a roadport. I do believe it's somewhere underneath the west port part of town. Yes, indeed. Yes, definitely. If you get stuck for any reason, just come back and see me again, okay? I don't need to, uh, worry about that. Under the ground in the west part of the town? Check. Gotcha, prof. Come on, Gonzales. Let's go. Time to break out. Are you just going to be calling us Gonzales this whole time instead of Mario? Okay. I... Dear Mario and Koops, I hope you two are doing okay. I have to admit, with Koops gone, I haven't been doing very well. I get lonely, and I can go get and I go into Koops' house to smell that Koops smell. I guess it's your cologne or whatever, but it makes me so sad. Lately, the place is starting to smell more like your dad, Koopley. He has his own smell, and it's weird. I think maybe it's a smell hooked to his gut. It's disgusting. Now I gross myself out. Oh, and since he's going to be my dad, too, someday, I better get used to that smell, huh? Oh, what am I writing? I'm so embarrassed, but I'm sending this anyway. Hee <laughs> hee. Love, Koop Nakoopiku. Ah. I need to see if I can't get that shine sprite. Not shine sprite. Oh no. That uh stuff. Not stuff. Uh that uh that star piece. Duh, star piece. That's the word I was looking for. Star piece. So I need to jump. Jump. We're almost there. We're almost there. Jump. Almost there. Jump. I beg to differ. Oh, oh I almost didn't make it. Up. Got a star piece. Boom. Boom. Oh, we got that down. Boom. Oh no. I was meant to jump. I was trying to jump. We need to heal when we get when we get to uh Twilight Town. Okay, we got we got through. And down the pipe we go. Wait, what? Why did it kick us out? The pipe rejected you? What gives you lousy pipe? We've gotta tell the professor about this. Yeah, let's tell the professor. Cause that's what the pipe would do. I just assume because we were at the part where Twilight Town will be most important, we didn't have to really worry about it. Oh my, oh no, oh no, oh no. Just, just, just. Yo, Prof, we found your pipe and that thing's all sopped up. We tried and tried, but we can't break through it. Got any drain cleaner? What? You can't get through the pipe, you say? How odd. Hmm, I'm afraid I have the foggiest idea what you should do. Oh, of course. 
I've heard that a fellow from Twilight Town lives here on Roadport. If anybody knows how to get through the pipe, it'll be him. His name was, uh, dang, what was it? Ah, yes. The lover of dark places? Darkly! I've seen him I've seen him loitering right here in this part of the town in the past. Look for Darkly. Okay. We know where he is. So we just go through here. Wrong way! Hi there, my name's Darkly. I'm from Twilight Town. Do you guys need something? Huh? You can't get through the pipe to Twilight Town? Well, shucks. There's usually no sweat. You just need to have something on you. Something that has your name written on it. Don't you have anything that has your name written on it? Come on, everybody does. No? Really? Okay, hang on. I'll write it for you. What's your name? Mario, huh? Okay. I'll write it here on the seat of your overalls. M-A-R-I-O. Right? <coughs> There. Perfect. Mundo. While I'm at it, I'll write your partner's name too. What's your name? Blaze, baby! Hey! Watch what you're drawing, buddy! I don't know where, where Aaron is taking you to Twi Twilight Town, but I hope it goes well. I'll be rooting for you. That's it? Okay. I mean, if that was all they had to do, couldn't, like, you know, they have, have them have their, like, names written on the bottom of their, uh, boots or something? Or the inside of Mario's hat? Could have been a good one instead of their, uh, instead of, uh, their, uh, pants? Okay, this better work now. It worked. Yeah, it worked. It worked. Chapter 4. For Pigs the Bell Toes? For pigs the bell tolls. That's a weird title. Eee, this is spooky. Twilight Town. Oh, I see there's piggies. No wonder it's called pigs. Uh, this place gives me the creeps. Is this Twilight Town? <laughs> hey, are you darkly? It's been, a, it's been a long time since anyone's ever come from outside. You come from far away? <laughs> yes, those clothes are yours. I'm pretty sure you guys must be adventurers too, right? This is a bad time to, to arrive. Wait, but you're adventurers. Maybe it's the perfect time. Wait, what? A bad time? What do you mean by that? Come on, tell me. Oh, gee whiz. I don't know. It's a scary tale for to hear, and scary to tell too. Oh, no. The bell rang again. Oh, this is so awful. What could it be now? Oh no. Whoa, that was the craziest thing I've ever seen. What's going on in this weirdo town? Oh, oh badness. Now poor Gloomer got turned into a pig. Not good. Oh, I thought he just turned himself into a pig. Who are you, Gramps? I'm the mayor of this poor town. Some call me Dor. Dar? Dor? Well, I'm Dor. I'm not exactly the sharpest fellow, but I do believe you're adventurers, right? Yeah, we are. This isn't the place with the telling of tales, sadly. Come, come to my home. He's going to turn into a pig, isn't he? He's going to turn into a pig. Mark my words. <laughs> my traveling friends, welcome to Twilight Town. Well, I'd like to welcome you. But welcoming people is generally a good thing, and there's nothing but bad here. As you may have guessed, our town has been cursed. Whoa, cursed? Yes, cursed. That's the right word, right? Yes, of course it is. You see. Beyond town is a forest, and it is heart of an ancient building, the creepy steeple. Steeple, steeple, I think it's called, pronounced steeple. The dark creature who lives there is cursed, a ordains that when the steeple bell rings. One of the twilighters living here in the village becomes a pig. <laughs> when my loved ones become a swine, will I too become a curly-tailed oinker? <laughs> I'm so worried I can't sleep at night. Of course, night and day are pretty similar here. It keeps, and if this keeps up, well, the village will be one giant pig pen, which will be bad. <laughs> Let me give you some advice. Leave us. Leave before you get, you, you too get pigified. Not gonna happen, Gramps. We're looking for something really important. 
Maybe you've heard of it. It's a star-shaped rock called a crystal star. If I heard people are turning the pigs, I, I will be running. Uh, I don't know about crystal star thing, but a, but a creep of steeple. The steeple? There's a glittery red stone shaped like stone shaped like a star. That might be it. Whoa, are you serious? That's gotta be the crystal star. Gotta be. Uh, you people, you ain't think you ain't thinking of the creepy steeple, are you? Unthinkable. Oh, you poor thing. Okay, we're gonna go to the creepy steeple. Now I understand what it meant by Pigs when the bell tolls, or whatever the chapter title was. Cause uh, we are going. Oh. But then, can these guys communicate to us? No, they can't communicate in a language that we humans can understand, or at least plumbers and um, Yoshi's. A nasty monster lives in the woods past here. I'm serious. That's what somebody said. If you still want to go through even after hearing that, you need the mayor's permission. Oh man, the old monster beyond the town gate thing? Isn't that kind of cliche? You gotta be kidding me. Fine, let's go ask. Okay, this is just like in Petal in Petalburg. Oh, wrong building. Um. Oh, a customer. Sniff. I'm sorry. We're not open right n right now. Sniff. Huh? Where, why am I crying? Sniff. My husband's been turned into a pig. A pig? Sniff. My husband went to the woods yesterday to collect herbs. But no husband came back. Instead, a pig returned. The pig! We got in a fight before he left, and they called him a... Ch a shivin a shivinous pig and now he really is a pig sniff but he is oh god i can't oh no i couldn't catch that i'm sorry i i can't i can't read that fast i know i can read fast but this is too much i can't read all that okay yeah okay so um are you even listening i'm sorry I couldn't, I couldn't really listen. I couldn't read. I can't read that fast. So hey, could you figure out some way to restore my husband to normal? I'll do that. I'll do whatever I need and can to help. You can even take whatever you want from the storage room if you help, if, if you help me you now. Okay. What do, okay. We got one scared mare guy thing, multiple pigs, and what in the world is down here? Okay, the pipe rejected you. Uh oh. Whoa, the bell rang, Gonzo's. This doesn't mean someone's gonna. Boy, I'm psyched it, won't... psyched it wasn't my turn to get pigged. Okay, I think the mayor is over here. I think it was in the house that we were once in. This ain't good. Don't you think this pig is a mare? Oh my god, no. What are you gonna do now? We gotta... We need that dude's okay to pass through the gate. Just say he's a pig! Just say he's been pigified! Just tell the truth! Say he's been pigified and we need to get over there! We're in some serious trouble! This was not... Oh no! Whoa, the gate guy's gone! Oops, no, not gone. The stubborn dude's a pig! Oh hey, it's actually pretty sweet for us. No pig's gonna get no pig's gonna get in our way. I don't know about that. Let's check. Okay, it will let us through. Okay, Twilight Trail. Okay. Hold on. Let's see if Madame Flurry will let us. Nope. Okay. I want to hit random patches of stone because this screams possible. This, sorry, this just screams possibility for a, a, a star piece. And there's, okay. We need to hit that. Okay, that gave us nothing. 
Oh no, oh no, oh no. Three times uh, you got a repel cape. Temporarily makes a party member dodge you so they are harder to hit. Oh, that is a lot of coins. We didn't need more coins. I wanted more uh, star uh, points. Okay, there's another piggy. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, I'm an idiot. I was thinking we needed Madame Floor. <coughs> and as we can't, like, you know. There we go. We grabbed it. We grabbed it. We got a shop key. Oh, wrong partner. I was an idiot. My, my second plan after wanting to use the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, M Madame Fleury was to use coops. I was not thinking straight. Then again, I'm not even straight to begin with. We're just recording this on the 10th of June. Okay, I was gonna say she's a she's a. I was gonna say that she was a uh, pig as well, but no, that was just a husband. That was just her hubby. Okay, we gotta solve the. We got a booze sheet. Okay, we got a jam. Okay, we got a life mushroom, and now we have a. We got a defense plus badge. Bruce Martin's defense plus one. Okay, we need to find a black key then. Let's look for a black key, guys. Knowing us, we need to find a black key. We need to find a black key. Feel free to take whatever you want out of there. It's a good tray for a chance of my husband, I think. No, it's such a fitting though. I should get to the sword ring for business. I so wish I had my husband back in normal form to help him on the place now. I know, I know, dear. I know. I, I, I can't imagine what it must be like to lose your husband to being a pig. That is one way to lose your... Hello? Mommy, I'm hungry. Food, please. Oh, poor dears. I haven't been able to buy food for my children, so my husband turned into a pig. Um, how do I say this nicely? Can't you just eat the pig that's been turned into your husband? Now they're all so hungry. What should I do? Mommy, I'm hungry. Food, please. Kind traveler, if you have some food spare, could you share it with us? Of course. Let's see if there's any food that we can give them. Let's see if they want a peachy peach. Because I don't see a reason to have it. Oh, thank you so much. We've made my children very happy and me as well. It's not much, but please take this as a thanks. We get a shooting star. Okay, oh, and kind traveler, where, where do you hail? Oh, no! Uh, kiddos, I think you need to get a butcher knife, some, uh, spices, and be prepared to eat your mother if you want to, if you want food. Hey, are pigs good eating? Yeah, they are. They, they, they are. You can make ham, you can make bacon, um, pork, pork chops are good. I'm not a big fan of, like, oh no, I'm, I'm stuck. Okay, no, I'm not. I'm not a big fan of eating pork. Hey, fix mommy. Mommy, you're a piggy. Okay, this has become super dire now. We need to... What, what, what was that? What was that? I saw something. 
I saw something. I saw something. I thought I did. There's something over here. Oh, it was just a tree. It was just a... Hello, I didn't see this. Talk? We can talk to the... Ka, 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 ka. Oh, we can jump over here. Call, 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 call. Okay, I just want to talk to the crows in case they have something to say. Because you don't know. There could be a magic crow. There could be a crow that can talk, talk um, English. They can talk in a language that I can decipher. Yeah, I'm not a big uh, person with pig. I never really, was really big on pig. Give me chicken. I love chicken. Give me pretty much anything cow-based. And I would love it, but I prefer chicken. I'm not a big fan of pig, of eating pig. I'll eat like ham and whatnot, but I'm not a big pig person. Oh, very funny. I need to tell you this little story. So um, my uh, grandmother who loves eating ham decided to tell me that ham was basically pig butt. Basically pig butt. And I, to this day, can't look at ham the same way as a result. <laughs> I don't like ham because of that reason. I know it's not actually the butt of the pig, but it's so close to the uh, butt area of the pig that it's like I'm eating pig butt if I'm eating ham. And what do we do now? We need to think. There's something back here. We need to think of what to do. So what happens if we do this? So we're going to let you know. I need a hand. Maybe we can move the big rock in front of the hut. What? See what we can happen if we push. We can't really push it. We can't blow it away, I don't think. Let's try over here. Maybe we can move the big rock, rock from the hut. Want to see what happens if we try to push it? How are you gonna try to push a rock that we can't actually push? Hold on. We can't ground pound near it. it. Doesn't really do anything. We need to find a way to push it. So wait, what happens if we just interact? with the box without the key, because I don't wait, know how... Wait, 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 Hold up, hey, wait, who's there? I just heard a voice. Wait, 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 There's no way that, pre wait, wait, that people could be here. Seriously, this... That's just so unlikely. Wait, wait, huh? What's that you wait, say? Wait, You've wait, seen a chest like this before? Get he out of here. Get out of here? Wait, wait, no, no, no. Wait, wait, I'm not like those chests, I promise. Look at my eyes. Tell me I'm lying. You're lying. Wait, 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 no, wait, wait, I'm not. Seriously. Wait, 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 just get me out of here. You'll see. Don't make me beg. I'm gonna do that. What? Come on. You know how, to re you know how ridiculous you sound right now? I'm laughing right he in here. You honestly think I'm going to cure or curse you when you when I get out? Curse you? Well, I did plan on doing something to you. There's not so much a curse as a... Well, a really wonderful new ability that will help you go to special places. Don't be... Doesn't that sound nice? Ah, uh, come on, please. Just find this key and open the chest, okay? I know it's the other town somewhere. I can't go look for it myself, because I'm in here. So, pretty, pretty, please. Hold on. We can't push it. Oh! We can't! Okay. We're just not pushing in the right way. Okay, so we go here. And we get the key. So, let's, um, go back if we can get Blaze out. Oh, thank goodness. You gonna let me out? Oh, happy day. Yes, we are. Fools. I'm not even surprised at this point. I'm just accepting fate. What were you expecting? Did you think a lovely lady will pop out or something? Nah, you. Now, I'm gonna hit you with the king of curses. The cursiest curse ever. Fear my terrible power. You'll know the pain of having your body roll up real small. Oh, that sounds helpful, actually. Be cursed! Now you're cursed, loser, savior, suffering. Well, this curse strikes you, you won't even be able to walk. 
You'll be forced to roll around as, as a tacky tube. Your suffering amuses me, and so I laugh. Now show me your cursed plate, so I can laugh all the more. Just press and hold ZR, then rotate L repeatedly. Oh! The pathetic misery thrills me to the core. While you're in that form, you must roll everywhere like some embarrassingly extruded wheel. I want to get a, long, a good long look at you in this pitiful form. Now roll. Roll like a drop butterscotch in a sidewalk. That is one way to describe that. Well, did you see how pitiful and tubular you are? That actually would be helpful to me. When your suffering becomes too much, press B to revert your normal self, don't forget. So tell me, do you need no do you need uh, do you understand your eternal cylindrical agony? I do. I leave you to suffer fools. That's not a bad thing. Actually, that's gonna be very helpful. We're just gonna run, we're just gonna run, we're just gonna run, we're just gonna run, we're just gonna run. Because I don't feel like. Okay, so. We press ZR then. Hey, whoa. That's how you do it. Oh! Hello. Got a piece of a star. Damn. That's okay. So let's see what's over here. Okay. That was the last thing I was thinking. Okay, so looks like we're gonna go in here. We're gonna travel. Well, okay, that was okay. Okay, so we are through here, um... Okay, we can fit through here. Okay, we got an earthquake. Uh-oh. What did that thing do? That thing's not here. I am freaked out. Where did that thing go? That thing went away. We need to know where that thing went. Okay, it just fled. Okay, I thought it was gonna do stuff, but nope, it just fled. It just ran away. I don't know how I feel about this. No, 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 please get away, please get away from me, please get away from me. Thank you. Thank you for getting away from me. Because I just need to do this. Throw badge. Damage enemies at all distance with a hammer toss that ignores defense. Okay, that's what we had to do. Oh, now in here. Okay, this is definitely something. I am not sure if I like this. Pushing again. Hmm. Nope. Hmm. Okay, he's gonna, just gonna do his. Hmm. Hmm. Hold on, there must be a way through here. Hold on, we need to get Madame Flurry out here because I see something that's okay. 
So we found that. So I mean, that means we have to ground pound this most likely because it's wood and Okay, we are through here and Oh That was not what I was expecting. I thought I was just gonna I thought I was just gonna, you know, move this to reveal a switch. I was not expecting that at all. So let's go through here. Because I want to get through this part because this part is a bit creepy. Oh no, we are not doing you! We need, we need to avoid him because I don't want to fight him. Run! Start running! Start running! Because sometimes I don't want to fight. I just want to f uh, flee. Um, creepy steeple. Steeple? Ste steeple? Yeah, this is a creepy steeple. That nasty monster's place. This place wigs me out. Look, Gonzos. Let's just get the crystal star and get out of here fast. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Something tells me it's not going to be that easy to do it, but we can always do it. Okay, we gotta think. There's a lock. It's locked. Of course it would be, because nothing has, because nothing is ever easy. Whoa! This was not what I was thinking. We just need to. Okay, we. I want to get to that shine sprite, but I don't want to activate him. Okay, let's see if we can. Nope. Gotcha. Gotcha. Let's moosey on over here. Oh come on! We're just going to try to avoid them. Okay, we have some. Okay, tornado jump badge. Pro properly execute action commands to deal extra damage to all mid air foes. Okay. Oh no. Run. Run. I don't know how to defend against these things, but we are fleeing. We can flee. Okay, we can push. We can push. We're pushing. We are pushing. We are pushing. Wait, what happens if we... Oh, no. Is that going to let us through? Is that going to let us through? We are pushing. I want to try to make these episodes a bit long. Oh, no, no, no. We are not doing that. We need to think. Okay, maybe we don't go in there. I want to make these episodes a bit longer so we're not here like every single day. Not every single day for... I don't want this this like series to be too, too long. I want to get through the game as much as we can. Oh, I'm an idiot. A grade A idiot. Here. Oh, there. Okay, there was something. Okay. I'm a great idiot to not realize that, but let's. Okay. Let's open the door. Let's open the door. Okay. Let's open the door. Yeah, I don't want to be here for multiple episodes doing the same thing. So I'm going to try to make these a bit longer for videos. My friends have all been taken away. So lonely. Okay, your friend's been taken away. Okay. Whoa! Don't leave me alone. Don't leave me alone. Okay, we need to find him a friend. We need to find him a friend. We're looking for a friend for you. My friends are all gone. I'm so very lonely. We're looking for a friend. We're looking for a friend for you. Don't worry. Hold on, I wonder, what happens if we do this? Hold on, what's up here? Okay, we can't leave him alone. We need to... What happens if we roll all the way up there? So we're going to go all the way back here. 
get ourselves folded and rolled. No, okay. I thought. Hold on, there's a. Not a chest, but an opening right there. And once we go through this opening, we have this. So we have an ice smash, which I already have. And a cookbook, a rather old cookbook penned by Maitre Delish. I hope I'm saying that name right. And a shine sprite, that's what we needed. Uh, we need a think. Hold on, what happens if we... Oh, I was gonna just interrupt. See, we can't interrupt with the piano. We can't interrupt with the piano. Let's see if something will happen if we... Interact with this because something to me is important because the game will not be giving us this thing to interact with. Oh, yeah, hold on. See if there is some, if there's another opening. There is it another opening but we do have a cookbook so what happens if we talk to him now okay you're very lonely oh we can push this because the way the the way the carpet is so let's push well okay we got this but let's take a look at this so we need Madame Flurry right here. Bam! There's nothing in here. Oh, there is. So we can. Um, are we going out of bounds? No, we're not. We're not going out of bounds. I thought we were. Okay, you got a flower saver badge. Decrease the FP Marty uses for moves by one. Okay. That'd be helpful. Okay, we are figuring things out. What's in this little chest? Oh! Okay, it's quiz time. In interlooper? Just now, when the box opened, how many of us booze came out total? I don't know. I wasn't counting. Were they meant to count? Let's say 50? Too bad, foolish mortal. The correct answer was 200? But we'll spend some time with this. But we'll send you home with this consolation prize. See ya, sucker. What happened if we had said the right one? That part of me wants to re. He wants to redo that, but I don't want to. Okay, did we get you your friends? Did all those Are you going to are you going to be mean to me? No, we're not. I'm not gonna be mean to you. I gave you your friends back then. Oh no! Promise? Come on out, guys! Okay. Ooh, spooky. Okay. Now, now they have their, their friends. Get away from me. Okay, we, we can go into doors now because that little guy is no longer alone. Oh, no, 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 no. How are we going to reach up there? Can't jump. Can't hammer. Oh yeah, we can get them with the star. We need to increase BP as much as I can. And luckily, I have an easy way to do that. So I went ahead. No, 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 no! We're just gonna run, we're just gonna run. Wait, what is this? What did, what's this doing? Did I do something wrong? 
Okay, we can't activate this again. Let's go into the store. Okay, we're back in the creepy steeple. Steeple. Um, let's open the store, see if there's anything here. Okay, we're up here. I want to check the other door. We're walking over here. We're in some kind of corridor now. Oh, the number one. Oh. I don't know what we did. So let's take a look over here. See if maybe there was something we were meant to do. Okay, dude, that just took us over here. Okay, we got a steeple key. Oh, I think I understand what's going on. We need to go! We need to go, please! No! No! Where are you taking me?! We do have that cookbook. I wonder what that cookbook does. Okay, I'm not sure how long this video is going to be, but, but hopefully you are enjoying the video. We're running, we're running, we're running. We need to be aware of any holes. There's a hole right there. We need a boom. Steeple key, thank you very much. And we need to go in. Oh wait, maybe we should get out and s oh, I was gonna say we should get out and save, but nope. Okay, our PM HP is full, but we're gonna climb these very scary looking stairs. I thought there'd be something there, but there isn't, so we're climbing these very scary looking stairs. There is a spring, so we jump on the spring. And go up. Hey, hang on there, Slick. Okay, you are actually scary. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting you. What are you doing? Interrupting my me time. Whoa, come on. This guy is the monster the mayor was freaking out about? Who are you calling a monster? What's your problem? What do you need to pick a fight? I'm busy thinking of new pranks and stuff. It's not easy either. Now get lost. Of course, you guys won't. No way you ninnies go away quietly. Am I right? Well, alright then, Slick. N slick, fine. Yes, I turn the villagers into pigs. Big deal. Big deal? You stink, mister. Why do you want to turn them into pigs anyway? Well... You know, that's also one depressing and boring and dim-witted all the time. So instead of wallowing in gloom, I figured out they might as well wallow in mud. Ha! Now they're pigs, get it? Isn't that just so perfect? It's like irony or something. So, what? You got a problem with that? I guess you do. So let's play, Slick. Okay, can't flee this fight, and you have 40 HP, but hopefully, actually we don't even know your name, what's your name mister? We're gonna call you Party Ghost, just because you have a, like a party hat on and you look kind of bit like a ghost, like a kid playing ghost. I guess I'll get down and dirty if you're gonna play like that slick. Oh. Oh, I was not expecting that. But we at least all got hit that time. We need to up BP as much as we can. Also, speaking about ways to up BP, um, I basically battled, um, redid the uh, Gliss Pit again after you beat it. The after you beat it for the um, Crystal Star, nothing really changes except uh, Jolene is now. Huh? Huh? 
How do you like them apples? Now that's magic, people. Now you're really funny yourself, huh? I'm an I'm a dang genius. He better not know how to guard. No, he's stupid. He's an idiot! Oh, we need to still beat him. So yeah, speaking about that, I did the, uh, not really much happened in terms of differences. The only difference in the glitch pit when you do it again is obviously, well, not obviously, you had to redo the whole thing from the minor league all the way up to, to uh, Rock Hawk, and Rock Hawk actually plays fair. There's no trip, there's no like trapping you in a random locker room anymore. And it was just a interesting fight where I got like 11 H, not HP, star points each time I uh, beat him. And apparently, if you lose to him once, you have to basically redo the minor league up to the major league again. But if you remain champion, you like constantly fight him over and over and over again. So if you ever do that with the Cliff Pit, make sure you save before you challenge a Rock Hawk in case you fail once. So that way, you can just, you know, restart the, the game again, essentially. Hold on. What? what? Huh? You beat me? Aha, that's easy. This is suspiciously easy, actually. You got a crystal star. I'm sorry, that I had to cough there. But this is suspiciously easy. Marty defeated the Scrooge of Creepy Steeple and found the fourth crystal star. The people of Twilight Town have, have surely recovered from their awful curse by now. At this rate, Mario's quest collect all seven crystal stars will be done in no time. With his back to Creepy Steeple, Mario sets out toward his bright future. That's like very suspiciously easy. I don't know why. It was... Yeah, I know Blaze. That's it? That's all you got? Man, this guy was a wimp. That wasn't even fair. Well, who cares, right? We got the crystal star, so let's get out of here. That thing's either gonna steal our crystal star back, steal the crystal star back from us, or uh, we, or something else is gonna happen that requires another crystal star from this place. Oh, oh! I didn't realize we could play as him. Okay. Okay, that was the last thing I was thinking. I was wondering why the checkpoint... Okay, let's go down here. So we're playing as Shadow Mario. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm freaked out. So let me guess. We're having to be us... We're playing as like the Shadow Mario character and we're going to get the Crystal Star back. Is that what I'm guessing? Is that what I'm guessing? Because that's the case, that is. Something. Yes, the time will take that Mario and get his map. With this super ba bomb here, that's no way we can fail. No, not likely. Vivian, hand me that glorious super ba bomb Huh? Vivian, don't you dare. Does that huh mean I mean what I think it is? I I never had it. You were holding the you were holding it just two seconds ago. You said it was too important to trust with me with. Oh, you terrible liar. So I'm making up stories to cover for yourself. If you don't have it, then obviously you must have read, and obviously you lost it. Or, are you trying to imply that I lost it, you little lo lollygagging worm? I, no, of course not, though, though damn. Well, you can't do much without it now, can you? Oh, you are such an idiot. Very well. I'm sure you must have dropped it around here somewhere. So why don't you look for it while, while, while Mary Lee and I go take a well-earnest sin siniesta? And if you don't find it, well, you know what will happen, don't you? I, I get punished. 
That's right, you little twit. So get cracking. Come, Merrily. Let's leave this useless little fool to her chore. They're not very nice to her. Are we going to be as Shadow Mario or just normal Mario? No, no, we're, we're Shadow Mario. Can we roll ourselves? Okay. Rolling ourselves is definitely something I have to get used to. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. Yeah, you're Mario, right? What a great name. And I really dig this body, too. Man, can I jump down? And hey, you're so popular around here. I got mobbed. I just love being you. Oh! Yeah, so that's so cool. I don't think I ever want to stop. So you figured it out by now, right, Slick? Your body and my name belong to me now. See, I got the power to change my shape into anyone I want. It comes in handy. But to really, but to be really someone, I need to take their name and body too. Which means to turn into a shadow and can't stick, can't use your name. Tough break, Slick. That's not enough either. I am to, um, I am, I am to erase you for good. I get to so unsupporting to ruin you without a challenge. So unsporting to ruin you without, without a challenge. So I'll give you one chance. If you get if you guess my real name, then I'll give you back your name and body. What do you what do you say, Slick? This will be fun, right? Now guess, what's my name? Hit me with the best shots. Let's say Okay, I was not thinking this would guess the monster's name. Let's be dumb and use my chosen name. Let's be dumb and say that. Little nobody, who, who named their kid that? Prepare for a doom, slick. Ah. And didn't even think about running from battle. Here, here no running. You're not thinking about running away, are you? You better not be. This is not what, what I was thinking this would be. Uh-oh. We can't fight him. He can fight us. Okay, we're just gonna run. We're just gonna run. That's no fun. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm a shadow of myself. Literally, a shadow of myself. Oh, sniff, sniff, sniff. What do I do? What do I do? Poor me. Sniff, I'm looking for something very important. If I don't find it, my, sis my sister's going to punish me again. It should be around here somewhere, but I can't find it. Okay, we got to find it. I'm looking for something very important. If I don't find this, it's gonna punish me. We run here somewhere. I just can't find it. So what exactly? Oh, is this what you're looking for, Madame? Sniff. I'm looking for something very important. If you don't find it, my sister's gonna punish me again. It should be around here somewhere, but I can't find it. What? You found it? Oh, oh, thank you so much. Thank goodness. At least I won't get punished now. Oh no, it's it's broken! It must have broken when my sister dropped it. What do I do now? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, why does everything have to go wrong all the time? Um, here, let me fix it. I'll fix it. Oh, don't even bother trying. It's really busted. What do I do now? My, huh? My sister will be, will be back any minute now. But I do appreciate your offer. Thank you. Oh, wait a second. What's your name anyway? What did you tell me? What? I can't hear you. Your name was stolen? I see. Well, I guess that happens from time to time. Wait, no it doesn't. Your name was stolen? That's, well, I'm just so sure that... I'm just not sure what to call that kind of problem, which fits, I guess. 
Gee whiz, you have way worse problems than I do. And you were worried about me but that whole time? That's so kind. Alright, that's it. I'm gonna help get your name back and your body and your friends. Well, that's okay. Don't worry about my problems. I'm not sure I really want to see my sisters anymore anymore. Anyway, we weren't very happy together. Truth is, it... Uh, it took a while to realize I was her sister, not their brother. Now their usual bullying feels heavier. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting... A, 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 I was not expecting her to be... To be a trans girl. I was not expecting that at all. Truth is, it took a while to realize I was her sister, not their brother. Now their usual bullying feels heavier. I feel bad for her. I feel so bad for her. To, to deal with that. Like, the way they treat her. Oh my god, they treat her so badly. Oh god, and part of me feels like part of it is the fact that she's living as who she truly is. Okay, I was not expecting that at all. That was not the thing I was thinking about. Not not expecting. I also feel like I need to repay your earlier kindness. That's the right thing to do, right? Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> here we go. Okay, Vivian has joined your team. Hopefully I'm pronouncing her name right. Okay, Vivian's ability is a primer. Press X to hold Vivian- to have Vivian pull Mario into shadows where they can hide. Press X to hide in the shadow. Oh! Use, use the spell to hide for enemies. Press X to emerge. Can we actually, like, walk around in shadows? Does this primer feel like you master Vivian's abilities? Yeah. I mastered her abilities and battle Vivian and set enemies on fire with her Shade Fist. Or she and Mario can hide in the shadows to avoid damage with her Veil Move. Ah! She sounds helpful. I guess we need to find out that ghost's real name first, huh? That'll be a start. Now here we are going to get that get that kind, that kind of information. Oh hey, I have a sort of idea. Birds pretend to be innocent with people around. But they were actually really informative on, on with all that flying and eavesdropping. With my power, we can hide in the shadows so you can listen on their conversations with them knowing, you know, knowing. So in addition to villagers, I try to get some info from local birds. That's the least I can do for you with my powers. If you have nothing to say, I don't know what to do. So that Mario guy meeting with the mayor, he's actually the bad guy, right? And nobody even knows. Humans are so dumb, it makes me want to peck their noses. The only soul that knows the bad guy's name is locked under a creepy steep boy here. And it's so obvious that saying his real name is his one weakness. So I wonder what all this is gonna end up then. Okay. Did you hear that? If we search on a creepy, creepy steeple, maybe we can find out that guy's real name. Let's go to creepy steeple. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. I would have done this back in town, but that would have looked very good. What would it? So this is the one who saw your name and body? Hmm, he looks sort of familiar to me. Alright, can the chatter? Can the, can the chatter? Yeah, here's the deal. You got your chance, then I stomp you. If you guys if you guess my real name, then you get your body and name back. Fire away, no name. Guess name. Part of me wants to look it up. Nah, we're not gonna look it up. I I'm tempted to, but let's Bam, let's just say that. Little nobody, who needs a kid that? Prepare for doom, slick. And don't even think about running from battle here. No running. The question is, can we attack you, though? Nope, we are fleeing. There's no fun. He must have been hiding there, uh, there in ambush, waiting for you to show up. Well, forget him. Let's go get your name back. Okay. 
Let's go that. Okay, ready, Vivian? I don't know where we're going, but this might be able to help us get our body back. Oh. Well, let's go this way. I wasn't sure there was, like, a something there. Okay, let's see here. Let's get in here. Can't we get in here? Are we too big? Okay, no, we're not. I was just not... Hello! What's up with this parrot? Good morning, good morning. Pretty bird, pretty bird. Okay. We got the letter P. A letter needed to get Mario's name back. Wait, why do we need the letter P? Why do we need the letter P? There's no P in Mario. We got a steeple key. Okay, good. Power Plus badge. And you got a Mr. Soft thingy. Is this all we need? Wait. Oh, I didn't realize there was a map. I'm an idiot. That is if I can stop coughing. Okay, there was a hint with a parrot. A parrot down here must be a bit shy around strangers, but my shadow ability might let us eavesdrop again. Oh. What happened to those weirdos who were just here? Ah, whatever. It was almost nice to have some company. I mean, no matter how important it is that no one knows his real name. Look, locking me up here just because I know it. And making me guard the name stupid missing letter, no way to treat a parrot. I really want a cracker. Dopeless, you're a big meanie. What's feeding time? When's feeding time hot? I'm just gonna take a little snapshot of that. Okay, we know it's a pretty bird. Pretty bird. Yeah, pretty bird. Pretty bird. That's where you are. You're a pretty bird. We heard that. We heard that, little birdie. Dopeless. That's his name. Now let's get your name back and body back from that meanie. And we'll teach him a lesson or two while we're at it. Oh, Mr. Fake Mario! Where would that fake Mario be? If I was a fake Mario, where would I be? Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for you. We know your name now. Hey, Slick, time to cancel your magazine subscriptions, because you're getting erased. But first, please amuse me one more guess. It really gives me joy to watch you and swear I'm in brutality as you try to guess my name. So, hit me with one more time. We are going to guess that little name of yours. Okay. I think that's how you spell it? Yeah. What? What did you just say? It can't be. No, 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 why, 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 how, 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 I'm feeling faint. Ah, that w And it was our turn. Let's get your name and body back. Where would he go hide? But the one thing I don't understand, why did we get a, uh, cook book? Hello, what is over here? What is over here? You 
you got a golden leaf. A weird leaf found in creepy steeple replenishes 10 FP. Huh. No kidding. Hey, you again, huh, Slick? You're pretty stubborn to follow me all the way here. Fine, fine, I see, I get it. Let's just put on this end, shall we? Alright, kids, put up your fighting gloves. Uh, woohoo, it's a me. Sure thing, Mario. We're right here with you. This creep can't take us on his own, so he teamed up with the three, with, with, with the three minus two shadows. Well, we certainly won't be letting him do anything to our little Mario. You're gonna taste the pain, Gonzo Sile, Shadow Guy. Very good, my loyal ones. How dare this nameless nobody challenge the great Mario? Mario? The guy who saw your name and body is Mario? That means you're Mario? Yeah, actually. I can't believe it! All the time I was helping Mario, I feel like an idiot! Please help me! What's going on here, huh? Fight with your girlfriend? Well, don't expect any sympathy from us, go uh, goalies. Oh no. How am I gonna handle all of them? See, your friends ditch you because you don't have the charisma of me, Super Mario. Carefully this fight. Okay, I'm all alone. <clears throat> Okay, let's... Okay, let's just focus on you. What? Damage? God, that's right. You guessed my name and, and now stuff hurts sometimes. Okay, let's just... Um, I'm sorry, sis. This Mario is the only person who's ever been kind to me. You're back! Mario, I'm fighting by your side from now on. Thank you! I've, I made my choice, and I'm not turning back. Okay, thank you! Thank you! That is really helpful, Vivian! Okay, um, attack a burn- Okay, attack with a burning punch that sets enemies on fire. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. I understand, I understand. I understand. Mario, don't let your guard down, okay? Oh no. Let's try that Shadow Fist again. Okay, that's how you do it, okay. Okay. It's a bit on the hard. okay, it's a bit hard to do that. Okay, he's almost done. Go, how dare you try to do this to the Grace Super Mario? How dare you? Oh no. Okay, we're almost done. We're done! No! Why? How? Eek! Mario! Rats, you kill Joyce. What? He ran away? I mean, wait, 
Just what the heck is going on here? That wasn't the real Mario. Did we get shell winged? How could we ever mistake our dear Mario for another? You have our deepest apologies. So what's this girl, huh? Isn't she one of the three sisters, three shadows you guys mentioned? Why would Gonzales pair up with one of those creeps? Well, I, uh... Oh, Mario, thanks for sticking up for me. Well, thanks to her. I guess you came right through this, okay? No sweat, right? Uh, listen, Mario, sorry about earlier. I'd be happy to travel with you if you have me. Sounds fun. Vivian has really joined your party now. This is for you. You get a crystal star! Your star power is now 5, and Mario learned the special move, Art Attack. We need to really start using some of these other, um, power, uh, power star things. Mario defeated the rogue who has stolen his name and appearance. Now Mario has 4 crystal stars. That leaves a mere 3 more to find. And that means his quest to collect all the crystal stars is more than half over. Now Mario heads off toward his next adventure with his new friend, Vivian. Vivian, Vivian, we're gonna, we're gonna keep, our, keep our Vivian. What about Belle Dam and Mary Lee? And what became of the doppelganger, Dupless? Vivian is so late, where has that scattered brain been all this time? Are you about this? Speak. Are you sure about this? Speak up, X Nat. Yes, sir. Quite sure. Quite sure. I proed all over the research of the Thousand Year Door, and it appears the ceiling the ceiling power has definitely been weakening, as Bell Dam said. Finally, the treasure of legend, the ancient power of darkness, will soon be ours. Listen and listen well. Keep go keep giving the Crystal Star search top so top priority. Of course, it also includes the elimination of Mario, that meddling scum. Got it, sir. So you don't have the power that has slept for a millennia. So very soon. And when that glorious day dawns, I'll throw the world into the depths of terror. No one can stop me now. I will be kneel before the ex nav regime, and uh, then I, Groot and Grotus, will build a new world. A perfect ideal world, yes. A world made by me. About me and for me. Tech, how did did you call me? What shall I do today? Will it be dancing, perhaps, disguising, or will you sing a song or something? I I am conflicted. Huh? What's wrong, Tech? You don't seem yourself. Which is more important? Carrying out an order or protecting a, cru a critical person. I exist for the purpose of a certain person. I wish to exist for the purpose of another. I do not know what to do. Really? What do you mean? No, no, never mind. Please forget my musings. I do want. I do know why, but it makes me feel unpleasant if I make you worry. Well, in any case, let me have a let. Let us have a quiz. A quiz. That is right. I'm about to ask you a series of questions. Please choose the correct answer among three options. If you can answer five questions, you must use a communicator as usual. What's with all the what's with all what's with you all of a sudden, huh? Now the first question. But what happens if you collect? What will happen if you collect seven crystal stars? Um, the thousand year door opens. Correct. Now the second question. What is the goal of Grotus, the leader of the Exnads, to conquer the world? Correct. Now the third question. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the Thousand Year Door? Tech, is this... Princess, please answer. What is the legendary treasure that waits behind the Thousand Year Door? Um... Let's say a Thousand Year Old Demon Soul, because I don't know. Correct? 
Now the fourth question. What does Sir Glotus wish to do with this ancient demon's soul? Uh, bring the demon back to life? Correct. Now the fifth question. What is required to seal up the demon again? Uh, crystal stars? Correct. You have correctly answered all five questions. Now you must use a communicator. I was just guessing with the with the uh, demon stuff. Tech, you... Was it okay for you to tell me such things? Please input the message you wish to send. Something tells me Tech is like secretly reading what we write? And speaking about him being a computer, how can he feel unpleasant when... Peach is when he basically makes her worry. You know, Peach, you know. Um, uh, okay, I'm done. Could you send it? The message has been sent. That is all for now. Please go back to the room. At least they're taking care of her. At least they're giving her food or giving her places to sleep and bathe and all that. Thank you. You're still a weird computer tech. At least they're not hurting her. Good night, Princess Peach. Which, her imprisonment is just basically dulled. Which, on the one hand, is good. But on the other hand, it must be boring just doing nothing all day. Oh, uh, no. My lord, I received reports of a great secret in the floating city of Glitzville. Let's write the cheap, the, the cheap, the cheap length there. Come now. You there, two tickets, one great and evil king, and one sweet young thing. G -g -g Gravy! The Bowser, the evil king, and, a <laughs> and it's a little old hag! I, uh, life's too short. What did he just say? Hey, come back here, you impudent little cheapskates. I hear you, I'll feed you! I'll feed you soon! Hey, I'm talking to myself. Where did Lord Bowser go? I was talking to the cat there. Because the cat's hungry, the cat's like right beside me, meowing his head off, asking for food. Okay, that's one way. Forget that wimpy blimp, now wimpy blimpy. I'll be riding this baby. I, s I snuck in the Glitzville once before, so I know the way. No problem, Lamo. You go easy on your old limbs and take the slow ride to the blimp, gran Grandma. Bowser, please! Uh, no, now my special, now my special deluxe brown, brown bag candy lunch will go to waste. Huh? A warning light? No, oh, don't tell me. Oh, uh, no. Poor Bowser. Okay, world 2 1. Okay. Okay, we gotta think. Because I don't want to hit anything. What happens if we just get to the surface? No, to don't, 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 no, 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 get off that. I'm talking to the freaking, uh, animal, the, the cat. The cat's being a cat. Okay, we're... And what the cat... Oh, no. Oh, no. Please don't say. Please don't say we're gonna die. Oh, no. Huh? Oh, that's interesting. If you fail, it counts in the level. And I'm sorry for the barking dog. Can't really do anything with the dog barking unless I bring her in. Okay, this is much more manageable. Let me just go in here. Through here, just swim. 
I can see why there's no like Mario game with Bowser as a protagonist, but he's not a good swimmer. Um Did we just burn? Oh no. Please don't say it. Please don't say it. Please don't say I just burned it. Please don't say I just Oh no. Oh no. Please don't say I just burned my only way through. Oh no. Oh no, this is not going too good. Oh, thank you, we can do that at least. Hack! Ugh! Ow! Chew! That was terrible! I gotta get in shape. Who's? Ah, it's Bowser, the Koopa King. You eat us. Someone help. Looks like you had a good time, didn't ya? There you are, little Bowser. What are you doing here? I've been looking all over. If I may ask, where have you been, you sogginess? Swimming. Really? Neat. As for me, Glitzville was fantastic. The fights were so cool. I was overwhelmed. I was over I was overcome. Why, even at my age, I was shaking what my grandma gave me. Mama gave me. And then the hot dogs. Oh my gracious. Yum yummerly. You have the fun too, huh? Lord Bowser, is that a no? I say it is. It was terrible. You hear me? I swallowed a dang blooper. I wanted to have fun. But forget it. It's over. Go get me some solid info on Princess Peach and the Crystal Stars now. I can't believe it was fake Mario all that time. So we were all fooled. I'm so sorry, Mario. After all you've done for our town, did we hurt your feelings? Um, maybe a little, honestly. Er, uh, well, alright. It's okay to be in touch with your feelings. So then. We brought a shining ray of light to our dim little town. Twilight Town thanks you. Hey Mario, we need to get back to Roadport, right? Let's go. Please come back to visit anytime. Like you. Anytime you like. Okay. Oh. Hey, Gonzos, listen. There must be an email from Princess Peach. My dear Mario, I have finally learned what the legendary treasure is. It is the spirit of a demon. The x mas plan to use his power to take over the world. They're collecting the crystal stars so they can open the thousand year door and unseal the demon's spirit. Those same crystal stars can also be used to, re to reseal it. You must not let them get the crystal stars. Please Mario, you must put a stop to their horrible plans, Princess Peach. Uh, an ancient demon spirit? Sheesh, that doesn't sound good at all. Nope, it doesn't. Road pipe! Okay, I think that's gonna do for this video. So I'm fans of Barrett, aka Bears. Hopefully, you did enjoy the video. We now have a new friend, Vivian, along the ride. So, yeah, without further ado, I'm fans of Barrett, aka Barrett's. 